Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video. More news, more games, more lore. I'm super excited. I'm also a day late. I apologize. Had some stuff going on in the household that prevented me from recording. And trust me, this isn't the first time this has happened. It's happened many times before, and several times when I wanted to stream. So, uh, yeah, just kind of needed to get that off my chest. So, anyways, we have some new teasers. We have some more news about, um, the upcoming projects, um, the AAA game has supposedly been cancelled for right now, but again, we're gonna get more into that. Again, we have the two teasers on scottgames.com, the one that was on fnaffle.com, but has since been taken down, and we also have a, a reason why from Scott, and just, um, something a little bit off to the side, which is still very important, but not really relevant to the news in this video, we have a official statement. So I have no clue where that lag just cut me off, but basically, in summary, we have two new teasers to look at, we have two official statements to look at, and we also have one, um, the, well, the updated mega thread has been, um, updated, so we gotta take a look at that. But for right now, we're going to take a look at the Help Wanted statement that Scott posted, uh, about a day or two ago. So, again, sorry I'm late on this, but we're just gonna hop into it anyways. So here is the statement by Scott, and, uh, it may not be the biggest on-screen for you guys right now, but it will, of course, be linked down below. Same thing with all the teasers, and, of course, um, the other statement and the mega thread, all those will be linked down below, so if you want to take a look at them by yourself, certainly feel free to. So the post is called a lore question about help wanted and an answer. Uh, it's got cool help wanted lore and this was um, posted one day ago, so let's read it. Hey everyone, so I received an email from a Reddit member yesterday asking me to clarify something specific about the lore of help wanted. He was very polite and respectful with his question, which I appreciate. And I know it's sometimes that more than a few other users, or, oh, my apologies, and I know it's something that more than a few other users were confused about as well. So here I am to set the record straight, and probably create more confusion in the process. The question is this, is Scott Cawthon now a part of the FNAF lore? The short answer is no. My name is never actually mentioned in the game. The game says that an indie developer was tarnishing the brand of Fazbear Entertainment by making video games about them, forcing them to rebrand and try to reclaim their good name by making a VR game that made more light of those crazy stories. Or was it all part of the plan? Yes, I used my own picture for this indie developer because it's an obvious parallel, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually me in universe. On the surface, this might seem like an odd choice for a storyline in general, but there was a very, very specific challenge while making Help Wanted. The challenge was this. How do you take characters that are canon, along with characters that are questionably canon, and characters from every point of the timeline, and throw them all together in one game that is canon? That's quite the problem when you think about it. But it was important for me that Help Wanted mean something. I didn't want just a meaningless collection of minigames, although I'm sure most people would have been okay with that. I wanted it to be canon, and that meant that I ne needed to solve the substantial puzzle of how. Now that you all know the problem, maybe you can understand my approach. That doesn't mean you have to agree that it was a good idea, I kept a bowl of candy outside, uh, sorry, I kept a bowl of candy out for people who show up with torches and pitchforks out my front. Again, if you've never seen the channel, I suck at reading. I've said that many times in videos like this. My apologies. So no, I'm not canon. Freda isn't canon. The fan game's not canon. You aren't canon. Only the existence of a game developer that supposedly made video games based on actual events that may or may not be covered up by Fazbear Entertainment is canon. Along these same lines, keep in mind that I do tend to use pictures of me and my family in the games just because they are so readily available. My little boy, Jason, is the face of the one you should not have killed in Ultimate Custom Night. I'll share the original sometime. He looks sweet as an angel in the original picture and I turned him into a monster. In FNAF 4, I used a picture of a mountain range that I took while I was truck driving in West, uh, West Texas. Um, I used a picture of a snowman that me and my older sons made together. I used a picture of a pet mockingbird that we nursed back to health one year. Do these have lower significance? Well, you probably already know the answer. Again, this doesn't mean you have to agree with any of it. I'm always available for a good roasting, and I sometimes deserve it. 
Although, I will say that I appreciate the fandom being polite about it, which everyone usually is. Smiley face. I hope this makes things clear as mud for everyone. Expect a new teaser shortly. And those teasers we will get into right now, but let's dissect this message a little bit, shall we? So long story short, all the information you need to know is right here. Is Scott Cawthon canon to the lore? No. If you guys don't know, in Help Wanted, there is, um, it was revealed that supposedly Scott, but we now know is not, um, there was a game developer who made the FNAF games, um, to tarnish the brand, and again, this unfortunately does create a little bit more confusion confusion for me in the process. I know it's probably still a bit confusing for um, other people as well, but basically all you need to know is that Scott Cawthon himself is not in the official lore. Freddit is not the fan games, nor you the player, or not, sorry, you the person playing the games are in the canon. Um, I'm sorry, I probably didn't explain this well at all, but again, this will of course be linked down in the description, so make of it what you will. Something that's super sad is that I actually had a theory that I had been working on for a super long time. I say super long time, I haven't even written the script for it yet. Basically, it went along that Scott was in the FNAF universe and that all his past games were connected. And this is this was gonna be the thumbnail for it, but now I don't even have to use this anymore because Scott just debunked the theory right then and there. So uh, yeah, here is a scrapped theory that really could have been out by now, uh, would have been released a few months ago if I had actually worked on it, but now I'm kind of glad I didn't because it is in fact wrong. Now we can move on to some of the juicy stuff. Not that that wasn't juicy, but now we have an updated list of the project's mega thread for the next two or three years. Fantastic news right off the bat, the FNAF movie number one has a finished script, which means they should be hiring cast soon, so uh, stay on the lookout out for more movie news in the future. FNAFAR.com, obviously check there for news about the FNAF AR game. FNAF Into Madness is on hold, or is it? Uh, nothing to go along with that, which is super interesting. I guess we're just gonna have to um, see what happens in the future, I guess. I can't actually remember. I think Steel Wool was originally going to make it. Maybe they didn't want to or something. Then again, they are making another game in 2020, so... I don't know, man. FNAF Into Madness may or may not be a thing anymore. Console ports, we know about all about them. And the AAA game, this is something that's super, super interesting. It says cancelled, well, not really. There has been a shake-up for this project. I'm actually not at liberate to discuss some details, but I'm taking control of this one and feel a lot better about its decision. Direction, sorry. This won't get started until late 2020, however. Um, I don't remember the exact date for the AAA game when they were expecting it to be released, but now we know that it won't even get started until late of 2020. So I would say maybe a 2022 release date, uh, maybe late 2021, even if this is going to be a thing. We do know that it was going to be multiplayer, I'm pretty sure, and the fact that Scott is taking it up um, by himself means this is no longer technically a AAA game, but um, apparently the Universal, the company that was originally making it, Scott didn't like the direction they were going with it, so he pulled the plug on that, and now he's looking for a new company, which... Honestly, it seems bad, you know, late 2020, that's super far away, and they gotta make the thing, so, you know, 2021, 2022, for, the, for a release date, maybe. But I'm super, super happy about that, because, again, I've said this so many times about so many projects, it's better to be late and good than early and crap. So, uh, yeah, everyone, I know you're probably mad that it's been delayed, but trust me, this is for the best. The new book series done and awaiting publication, we've seen everything about this before. Some of these are pretty disturbing, publication date December question mark. Amazon says December, I thought it was March, no one tells me anything. That is honestly super super hilarious. Question mark question mark question mark to be announced, the second game from Steel Wool, estimated time of arrival 2020. Now, this is supposedly, again I'm not entirely sure though I think this is it. This new teaser currently on scottgames.com, let me quickly refresh. Yes, this is the teaser for what is supposedly the, um, excuse me, second game for Steel Wool. As you can see, it shows Freddy um, standing there with his microphone stand. He's got an ear piercing in his, um, 
what I'm guessing to be his left ear. I'm guessing he's turned toward the audience because that would honestly make the most sense. And also because he's covering the stand, most likely means he's facing away from the camera. I don't see why he would have the stand behind his back. Anyways, we can still see the mall. We can see the, um, I believe it was the cinema up top or maybe it was down below i don't know but you can tell this is the same exact mall from the um the first teaser that we had about this game and it also says rock underneath freddy there's not much to go off of this image um i guess it's just a better look at freddy's model we know that um for once in his life freddy has been he's been upgraded from a wireless microphone to a stand microphone. I actually don't know if that's an upgrade or a downgrade, but he now has a standing microphone, which is pretty cool to see, honestly. It makes him look like a real rock star. Something I didn't point out is that if you open the image in Notepad, you can actually find the official name for these new type of animatronics, and that is, of course, the Glam Rock animatronics. Very, very similar to the Rock Star animatronics, but definitely different. As we can see in the um, as in the image as well, that this does have that 80s, um, you know, 80s and like mid, not mid, but early 90s feel. So it does, I, I, this, this image is really, really hard to pick apart. Not only because it doesn't give us much information, but also because it's a lot different to what we're used to. You know, the characters are outside of their pizzeria. It looks like they're um, performing for a older demographic. Um, these these characters do not look like kids. They look more like um, teens to young adults to adults. So it definitely is an older demographic. So it's something we have not seen before in the entirety of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, really, that the characters are now aimed towards a older demographic rather than kids. So yeah, there's really not much to go off of this image, just a better look at Freddy's model. I'm sure we're gonna get more models um, shown off in the future. Also, the image we just looked at, uh, if you save it, it is seven underscore one, which it's kind of confusing because originally it was Five Nights at Freddy's nine, so I'm not sure why it got de um, downgraded to seven. Not entirely sure. And now, now we move on to the old FNAF old teaser. Oh my gosh, so many people were talking about this and it has since been taken down off of FNAFWorld.com. You've all seen it, I don't need to make a big deal out of it, it's it's this. This was the image on FNAFWorld.com, teasing obviously um, Freddy in Space or FNAF World Update 3. Again, we've all seen videos on this. There are four threes you can find. Um, one near the tip of the rocket ship, one in Freddy's chest, ab area off to the side. It's kind of like his obliques. Well, that's a muscle I learned in wellness class. Um, there's also one on his on his um, his left arm, and then there's also one right under the female wolf's leg. We we're not going to talk about the female wolf or Freddy's design. We're just going to talk about um, <laughs> we're just going to talk about what this game could be. So obviously, it has a release date for next year, as you can tell from the text up top. It's pretty obvious. Next year being 2020, and those four threes make it seem like it's FNAF World Update Three. And as we find out later, it does have to do with FNAF World. But whether this is just Freddy in space, or if it really is an entirely new update three for FNAF World, it's not entirely clear whether it is, you know, Freddy in space 58 or Freddy in space uh, number two, whatever you want to call it, or if it is an entirely new update three. This is the only thing we have to go off of, and of course, the uh, the post that Scott has made about this image, why it's been taken down, which we will um, go into now. Again, I don't really want to talk about the appearances because I think that's been talked about enough in the community, and Scott has already addressed it in this post, so uh, yeah. Let's take a look at the post. So the post says about that FNAF World teaser, so you know it's a pretty serious post. Hey everyone! I went ahead and removed that FNAF World teaser, and I want to apologize to everyone. My goal really was to cr just to create a fun and crazy teaser for like an April Fool's game or something, but I think maybe it came out a little too over the top. Maybe I'll re-upload after a few more edits. Good night to all. Hashtag FNAF World Curse continues. Now, again, we've already talked about the appearances of the characters. Um, 
you know, Freddy and also um, Wendy, as Lewis calls it. And as Scott said, maybe it came out a little too over the top, and I can completely see where he's coming from. Um, though, to be fair, you know, if you're part of the community, you've seen all this before. You know, because, because every FNAF fan's a furry. We've all seen it before, everyone knows that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. To be fair, I really like the teaser. Not in that way. Don't get the wrong opinion. I, I didn't think it was that bad. I did see it as a um, fun and crazy teaser. Obviously, it wasn't supposed to be taken seriously. I think that was pretty obvious. Um, though maybe not to some people. And uh, also the hashtag, hashtag FNAF World Curse continues. Again, that does mean it has something to do with FNAF World Update 3 or FNAF World in general, whether it is just Update 3 or Freddy in Space number 2, whatever you want to call it, FNAF 58, even though that's technically poop, it's in space. So it does have something to do with FNAF World. It's very, very clear. It says it out. Um, oh, not the whole thing. Right down, right down here. God dang it, thank you. Um, but yeah. Obviously, it was just supposed to be a fun teaser. Don't take it personally. Don't take it seriously. Uh, Scott is not trying to mean anything. <laughs> it's just supposed to be fun and crazy, okay? So that's it. It feels like this video ended on a pretty bad note about people complaining about the teaser. But again, I fully understand where they're coming from, and I can, um, say, I can safely say that Scott did not mean, uh, mean for the image to come out this way, but... It definitely is interesting nonetheless, Scott. But again, that is it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Get hyped for all the new games coming out next year and for the next few years. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Sorry this video was a bit longer than it should have been, but again, uh, I did miss I did miss this last night and I apologize for that. Just some, uh, you know, household uh, obstacles, I guess you could say. So again, thanks everyone for watching. Really love the support you guys are giving me. I feel absolutely honored. We're coming up on 100,000 total views for the channel. I do have something planned for that. It might not be ready exactly once we hit 100,000 views, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. So thanks everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.